So let's start by reading the question together. Figure 1 shows a measuring cylinder which contains water initially at level A. This is level A. A solid of mass 11 grams is immersed in the water. The level rises to B. This is level B. Determine the density of the solid. Give your answer to one decimal point. And this question is for 3 marks. When a question contains or has a measuring cylinder, the first thing you do is to determine the volume represented by one division on the scale. You do this by finding the difference between any two adjacent numbers. For example, the difference between 3 and 2 is 1. So we get that volume of 1 centimeters cubed. You divide that by the number of divisions. And there are 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And one division will represent 0 0.2 centimeters cubed. Now this is important because it is the one which allows us to get the scale reading. How do we do that? We know we are going to count upwards increasing each value by 0 0.2. So we are going to count in steps of 0 0.2. For example, if I start from 4, I will get this one being 4.2 because I've added 0 0.2 to 4. Then this one will be 4.4 because I've added 0 0.2 to 4.2 and so forth until I get this value being 4.8. Of course, centimeters cubed. And this value here will be 7.4. Again, centimeters cubed. This is V1 and this is V2. The difference between the two scale readings is going to give me the volume of the water displaced when this solid is immersed in the water. Now why is that? When the solid moves into the water, the water ma an equal volume of water must move up or it must move out because water is incompressible. So the volume of the water displaced is equal to the volume of this object. So that is where we get that volume V by getting 7.4 centimeters cubed minus 4.8 and you're going to get 2.6 centimeters cubed. Now it is at this point that I think about calculating density given the mass and dividing that mass by the volume and this one will be 11 grams I divide that by 2.6 centimeters cubed. 11 divided by 2.6, I get 4.23. To one decimal point, it's just 4.2. Grams divided by centimeters cubed gives me grams per centimeters cubed. And that's the density of that solid in grams per centimeters cubed. We can get the density of this solid in kilograms per meters cubed, that is SI unit, but that has not been asked for. In an exam, it's always good to answer the question and don't give any extra information unless it is required.